But welcome back to more Approved. I'm James, and today I'm trying a new experiment. So I'm gonna see if I can get some lentil sprouts. I'm also gonna see if I can get some green pea shoots. I'm going to see if I can take coriander seeds, see if I can get those to sprout. And I'm going to see if I can grow some red beans. I am also starting some green onions. These have already had 24 hours. Scallions, I guess you just soak them for a couple of hours in water and then you can transplant these into dirt or whatever media that you want to grow it in. I may take one of these and try to grow it aeroponically. We're going to let these soak for 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and put these in a cool dark place. I'm going to drain this off and cover it with a damp paper towel. In my spice rack, I found these mustard seeds. I'm going to put these guys in here. It's pretty thick. It's going to be some greens out here. Just spread them. So enjoy them. Just Day three update, guys. The lentils are doing fantastic. So I look at these two to three times a day, see if they look dry or not. If they start looking like they're drying out, I go ahead and hit them with some water. So right here are my 10 plus year old mustard seeds. Some of these are actually starting to sprout, but I don't know if they're gonna make it all the way or not. The peas are doing great. They're all starting to sprout and it's working pretty well in this container. Super crazy. Lots of nice sprouts in there. And I'm actually gonna give these more surface area so they have more room to grow. And I'm gonna look for any that didn't really uh, germinate and then pull those out. Nope, oh, one got away. We do have a number of sprouts out of these, but again, these are like 10 years old. And later on, which I'm not going to show on camera, I think this has enough roots that I can get this bad boy planted. And these are the scallions or the green onions. That's four days, so lots of good growth. Some new shoots coming up through here, so pretty happy about that. I'm actually going to turn these peas into hopefully microgreens. So we're gonna see how that works out. So we'll check back on this tomorrow. This is my day five update. As you can see, my mustard seeds are doing pretty well. I'm actually going to be leaving these out in the open now. I think they're, I think they're tall enough. The peas that I put in the soil, they are starting to turn into microgreens. You can see some of them are sprouting up. So that is always a bonus. I'm just gonna keep those nice and moist and I will probably be leaving these out as well. But these are our green onions, our scallions that we planted in here. They have a nice root system. They're very firm and sturdy. They have a lot of new growth and it's been pretty quick. And this onion seems to be doing pretty good. There's more green starting to shoot out of that. So he is rooted in as well. And I saved the best for last. These were the lentils. This is five days with lentil sprouts. So I'm going to call this food. I'm actually gonna cook this up and eat this after we fill. This is just super impressive growth and probably the easiest thing that I have ever grown was dried lentils from a grocery store. Day six update, the mustard microgreens are doing exceptionally well after being exposed to light. For the coriander, I have a number of these seeds which are actually starting to sprout. So I'm gonna get these into some soil and see how well they grow from there. So an update on my pea shoot. I'm gonna get in a little bit more detail on this when I do my final synapsis on the final filming day, which is probably going to be just in a moment here. So it is day seven. This is the synopsis of everything that I showed you. Everything that I had started and planted grew except for the red beans. The red beans, they just had a foul odor to them. I threw them outside on day two. So other than those, everything that I purchased from the store has been growing and growing quite 
well. The cilantro, I have a whole bunch of sprouts in here. This is just coriander seed. So I'm gonna put these into some soil and then I will have a great supply of cilantro. The green onions, super easy to do. You can also take and wrap the roots of your green onions when you buy them from the store in a damp paper towel. Keep that paper towel moist in your fridge. And when you get down to the point where you use them, you can just go ahead and plant those directly into some moist soil and you don't have to soak the roots for any period of time in water. So you can just bypass that step and you're all ready to plant. The lentils, I don't have those here to show you because I ate them all. I had done these lentils as sprouts, but I am going to be repeating that test, doing the same soaking process for 24 hours, and then I'm gonna be doing these as microgreens, and I'm looking forward to that. If you guys are interested in how those turn out, let me know, and I'll throw out a video on it. Now the mustard seed, which I had turned into microgreens just on some paper towels, these have done absolutely fantastic. Let's see if we can get this into a little bit more user-friendly area. The mustard microgreens worked really, really excellent. Looking forward to this. They have a little bit of a little bit of a kick to them. Now to the peas. The peas, I had a whole bunch of these peas sprout, which I was pretty impressed by. I didn't think I was actually gonna get any of these peas to sprout, especially after the red beans did not work out, but I did get a whole bunch of these to sprout. However, I did not have 100% germination rate on it. And something that you guys need to be aware of, if you are growing any of these items as sprouts or microgreens, and there is a very foul odor coming from your container, you don't wanna eat those. You have some decay, you have some bacteria growth, something's going on with it. Throw it out, start all over again. Be very selective with the seeds that you're planning on using. Pre-wash them very, very well. Separate out the ones that don't look very good. Pick out the ones that haven't started to sprout and then only use the ones that are going to be sprouting. This is the case with these particular pea shoots. I could let these go and I would have shoots that I could pick from if I wanted to, but there's a bad odor coming from this container, which tells me that I have some non-germinated peas still in here and they are breaking down in the soil. So I really don't want to consume this. I'd rather be safe instead of sorry. You can always make your own decisions on what you feel confident with eating and what you should not be eating. But I hope you found this informative. I am going to be feasting on microgreens for the foreseeable future until I get bored with this process. But this is the easiest indoor gardening thing that you could possibly do. But thanks for watching more Prove It, everyone. I'm James. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I come out with a new video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'm James. Till next time, see you then.